So this equation may look a little complicated or intimidating or advanced for some of you out there, but actually this is very easy to solve with just basic algebra. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the equation. We have e to the 3x is equal to e to the 7x minus 2. And what we want to do here is solve for x. All right, so if you could figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here is our problem. We have e to the 3x is equal to e to the 7x minus 2. Now, at first glance, again, this could be, uh, you know, very intimidating, especially if you've never studied how to solve exponential equations. So, uh, in general, when you learn about exponential equations, i.e. solving for uh, the variable in the exponent spot, you learn something called logarithms, okay? Now, logarithms, if you're not uh, familiar with logarithms, they have something to do with this button on your uh, scientific calculator, the LOG or the LN. Now, I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, logarithms too deep in this uh, particular video because this is a huge topic, and generally it's taught like at the Algebra 2, second-year algebra, college algebra, pre-calculus level of mathematics. But you don't need to um, really understand logarithms to figure out how to solve this problem. Now, why is that? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so we have e, okay, to the 3x power is equal to e to the 7x minus 2 power. But let's kind of think about it in this way. e to something, okay, which of course is 3x, is equal to e to something else, all right? Now, how can this be true, all right? We're saying that e to some power, or okay, some exponent, is going to be equal to e to some other exponent. Well, the only way that the left-hand side can equal the right-hand side, the only way these can be the same value here, if they have the same base, well, then the exponents must be the same. Okay, so in other words, if I have 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the third, and if I make this little statement right here, well, x must be equal to 3 because I'm saying that 2x is equal to 2 to the third power, so x must be equal to 3. So in this case, uh, recognizing that we have the same basis here, well, 3x must be equal to 7x minus 2. All right, so at this point, we could just come up with a simple equation, 3x is equal to 7x minus 2, and use some basic algebra to solve for x. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, solve for x. We have 3x is equal to 7x minus 2. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so 3x is equal to 7x minus 2. First, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7x from both sides of the equation. Remember, I'm going to get all my variables to the left. And I want to do that and adding down in a column manner, 3x uh, minus 7x is negative 4x. And the 7x's go away. Negative 2 plus nothing is negative 2. So now all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And of course, you can see that work right here. So x is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 4, which is a positive 1 half. All right, so this is by far the most direct approach. And again, even if you um, were looking at this uh, exponential equation, you're saying, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I never learned this kind of math. Well, oftentimes, you can kind of reason through a problem. And typically, uh, you know, problems like this sh show up at even the basic algebra level because they want to kind of see if you can use, you know, I don't want to say common sense, but if you can kind of think through uh, logically what the problem is telling you. Okay, so sometimes, uh, you know, students or people will look at a test question and they'll be intimidated by the notation or, or something else. Try to look past that and think about the problem kind of from a big picture standpoint. All right, so I'm going to show you how you could use a little bit more advanced technique uh, to solve this equation, but really it's pretty much the same thing. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher 
that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description, but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. But uh, let's take a look at um, how, in general, you solve a lot of exponential equations in math. Now, this particular exponential equation is very easy because obviously we have the same basis here, but I could, uh, you know, put all kinds of twists on this problem where we couldn't just make this, you know, so easy where we can just um, basically equate the exponents. So what you typically do when you're solving exponential equations, now this is a real general kind of uh, overview, right? I'm definitely not giving you a full lesson on this, but typically what you need to do is take the log of both sides. Now, when you're dealing with natural base E, okay, there's two buttons that you use, again, on your calculator, LOG and LN. Now, LOG is what we call the common log. Common logarithm, it's log base 10, and LN is the natural logarithm. It's uh, log base E. But effectively, when you are solving equations, exponential equations that involve E, you're going to use LN. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. All right, so here you would take the ln of both sides, okay, or the log of both sides, but in this case, we're taking the ln. Now, when we do this, we can use a property of logarithms that basically allows us to take the exponent and put it right in front of the ln, okay, or the ln e. So we're going to take the 7x minus 2 on this side and put it in front of this ln e, and the 3x and put it in front of this ln e. And again, this is a property of logarithms. So we have uh, 3x, is e 3x times ln e is equal to 7x minus 2 times ln e. All right, so you don't even need to go into your calculator, but if you wanted to, you could just take out the ln of e. Okay, you just basically type it into your calculator, and you're going to see that that is simply a 1. So ln of e is 1. And uh, basically what we're left with is 3x is equal to 7x minus 2, pretty much the same equation we just solved. All right, but again, you know, when you're solving exponential equations that are um, more involved than the one that we're looking at, uh, you definitely need to understand logarithms and uh, natural base E or natural logarithms are a big, big part of a lot of areas of not only mathematics, but science as well. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.